Hello everyone and thank you for joining. We will discuss in this video the additions to the string class from Java 9 to Java 12. It is important to know them, especially if you want to pass that OCP 11 exam, so let's get all the methods one by one and test them to see how they work. In Java 9 we have two new methods, the chars and the code points, and we will start with the first one, the chars method, it returns as a stream the characters of a specific string. And we will have here, for example, the hello string. And if I want to get the characters under a stream, I simply apply the chars method here, and then I can do whatever I want with each character on this stream. I will directly apply the, apply the, terminate, the, the terminator method for each here, and then I can simply output them to the console. And what you will observe is that we don't actually have directly uh, the characters here, but each x is an int, and I have specified that the chars return a stream that is actually an int stream, and x is not the character but the int behind uh, each character. So if I run this, I will see in the console all the integers that uh, um, represent each of the characters. And if you want to really see the characters, then you can simply apply a casting here to char, and then you will, of course, see uh, each character of, a st of the string. So it will be hello and each character on a separate line for the print line that I have used here. Very, very similar to char's method here, we have code points method. And code points method, which is also an addition from Java 9 to the string class, is uh, pretty much similar, just uh, just a very small difference to the chars. You will mostly probably use the chars uh, the chars method uh, uh, when uh, you deal with strings. Uh, and uh, as you can see, if I apply code points here on the same string, hello here, I will get the same output. So you will see no difference. Code points actually. Uh, besides splitting the characters, it also treats the sur the surrogate pairs. So, in case you are de dealing with UTF-16, then you might have surrogate pairs and then you might need to treat two specific codes as only one character. So, from the, from the Unicode specification, we have, for example, D-800 and uh, DC-00 as a surrogate pair. And if you apply code points and Probably it's better if I remove this chart here, otherwise I might not, not see anything because I, I will not see this character as, uh, uh, in, in the console probably. Uh, but uh, if I will uh, uh, directly print the X, then I will see the code, which is 65536 in this case. doesn't really matter the value, but what it matters is that you can actually see that I have two characters here, but I get back only one integer. And this is the difference, if I would have used the chars that I have uh, shown you previously, the chars method will display me this string as being formed of two different characters. So you will actually see two different codes in the console. And this is because this is uh, actually a surrogate pair. And when I use the code points method, then this is checking out the surrogate pairs and instead of displaying me that this is um, uh, the, the, that these are two characters, it will simply uh, combine them into only one uh, UTF-16 character. So, so this is the difference between code points and uh, and chars. But as I said, most probably in most of the situations, you will use the chars uh, method. Good. In Java 10, we have no addition to the string class. And then in Java 11 we can start to discuss the re we're discussing the repeat method. And repeat method you can imagine from the name of the method what is doing. It's simply uh, getting as a as a parameter um, an integer and it uh, repeats the string the number of times you have specified. So if my string is hello and I apply repeat out of three then I will have as a result uh, hello three times. Uh, just to, to uh, remind you that uh, any string is an immutable instance, so that means that a repeat as any other uh, behavior of the string class uh, cannot change the content of this S here, 
so repeat as any other method that seems to change the string it simply returns the result if you don't get the return result then you can't use the you, you can't use the result of the function uh, don't expect any method of the string class to actually change uh, the value of the instance you apply uh, the method to it so I got the result and I will print it in, uh, in the console and then of course the result is uh, displaying uh, the string three times which is the number I have used here as a parameter. Then I have the uh, strip method and in order to test the strip method it is better if we add some spaces or tabs to the beginning and to the end of the string and maybe we want to have a space also in between to see, to see the fact that strip method will not um, uh, affect uh, this space as well, it only affects uh, the spaces uh, in the beginning and at the end of the string and it's uh, very similar with the trim method uh, it removes the spaces from the beginning and from the end of the string so you will see uh, hello world without spaces in the beginning and in the end if you use this method Beside the strip itself as a, as a method you have strip trailing and strip leading that only removes spaces from the beginning and respectively from the ending of the uh, string. So strip trailing will only remove the spaces at the end of the string and this means that in the console I will only see uh, the spaces here at the beginning which you can see but I cannot select, I cannot see because I don't have any spaces anymore at the end of the string. Similarly, if we use the strip leading, then we will remove the spaces at the beginning of the string, but we will have no spaces anymore. Uh, we will not have uh, spaces anymore at the beginning of the string, but we will remain with the spaces at the end of the string. So we can choose now if we want to remove only the spaces from the beginning and respectively only the spaces uh, from the end of the string. Another method that, uh, that appeared is uh, very similar to is empty. If you remember, you already know the is empty uh, method. Uh, sorry, is blank is the name of the method, but I firstly wanted to show you and to remind you the is empty. And of course, the result is a Boolean value. Is empty tests if we have or know any characters in the string. So uh, if we don't have any characters, then isMT will return true. If we have any other character, including spaces, then this uh, method isMT will return false. But we now have another method that is called is blank, starting starting with Java 11, and is blank is actually testing also for spaces. This means that if we have only spaces or the string is empty then is blank will return true and is blank will return false only if we have at least one character that is not a space then we have another method that allows us to process the string as separate lines so if we have hello and world on two separate lines then we can use the lines method of the string now that will come back with a stream of strings and each element of this stream is one of the lines separating the lines uh, using the uh, new line character so if I um, uh, simply uh, use the for each uh, operation and print each of the elements on this stream on a separate line in the console you will see hello and world of course on separate lines in the console but what is of course and what you what you can see similarly to the uh, chars and uh, code points uh, methods what is important from this uh, this method is, is uh, also the fact that they return a stream and this allows us with uh, having the possibility to apply all the operations from the stream API uh, that we know already from Java 8 and we know it's a very 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 powerful uh, uh, part of the Java language uh, so uh, for example here you can apply uh, like intermediary methods and uh, do a lot of things using the stream API so if I simply want to uh, reverse let's say the, the strings I can immediately 
uh, use uh, the reverse method of the string builder class and yes I cannot use uh, the same name of the variable anymore I will replace it with, with an X but uh, uh, what I wanted to, to show is that you can do whatever you want with this stream and this is actually what makes this uh, very very powerful and uh, you see the result in the console and this is everything that we have from Java 11 and from Java 12 I want to discuss only two methods that were added and these methods are indent and transform so I will keep this input and I will show you what is indent doing and indent is applying a number of spaces at the beginning of each line in a specific string and be very careful it's at the beginning of each line which means that if we have two lines in this string then the four spaces will be added at the beginning of each line that means in the beginning of um, hello and in the beginning of world it also adds a new line character uh, to uh, each uh, to each line specifically so if I uh, print the result here I will see uh, the hello and the world as being uh, indented with four uh, characters and you can see that it also added a new line after the world even if I don't have a new line here so at the end it placed a new line and I have the four characters uh, before each of the uh, lines in my string so this is what indent is doing the last method that I want to discuss is pretty easy uh, it's called transform and it's a behavior of the string that receives a function as a parameter and you uh, simply apply that function with the transform method and you get the result so for example if I have this, uh, this simple string hello then I can apply transform and I have to specify a normal function and the function will always have as an input a string that is the string to which you apply the transform method and then you have whatever you want as an output so for example you can have as an output the length of the string and then depending on what you have as an output of the function you know what type of return uh, will uh, be um, for the transform method so in this case the result will, will, will be of course the number of characters of the string to which you have applied the transform method is depending on what is the implementation of the function that you provide so let's test this as well and see uh, what happens if we print this to the console of course we should see number 5 which is the number of characters of this string so this is uh, everything that I wanted to discuss with you in this video uh, use them wisely, use them well and if you like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, share with others and see you soon. Thank you very much.